Hello everyone and welcome to a breastfeeding tidbit presentation by the Breastfeeding Clinic in the Helderberg Basin, Cape Town, South Africa. Just a quick disclaimer. The information provided here is to assist you in exploring all available options to empower you to make well-informed decisions to help you feel in control, be responsible for and have confidence in your choices. Information should please not be substituted for the diagnosis and treatment of any medical condition and also please never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something that you have received here. And this recording is not intended to replace professional or medical or other kinds of advice. Now in this recording we will be looking at how to support the breast for feeding. Now most mothers do not need to hold or shape or support their breast for latching, although depending on the size of her breast or how the mother is positioned, she may need or want to support or shape her breast uh, for the nipple to be more accessible for the baby or to stay in the baby's mouth when, once attached or to help the baby achieve or sustain a deep latch. Now, exactly how a mother uh, is going to offer her breast for a baby will depend on her breast anatomy, the baby's mouth anatomy, the mother's position, the baby's position, how long the mother's fingers are, uh, how big her hands are, etc. Let's just, uh, let's look at a, a few positions or holds, sorry, holds. Now, a mother who wishes to shape her breast for her baby can place her fingers flat on her chest wall under her breast so that her first uh, finger forms support at the base of the breast and her thumb is on top well back from the areola, the, the darker skin around the nipple. And the fingers below the breast should also be well back from the baby's mouth so that the baby can grasp the nipple and areola without interference. Now the breast, if you remember from a previous recording, needs to be exposed so that there's a circular landing pad with an approximate 5 centimeter radius around the nipple and areola uh, for the baby to get that chin um, nicely onto the breast. So the landing pad can also be compromised by obstructions of bra and clothing as well, causing the baby to have a shallow latch. So depending on the baby's position, form a U or a C hold um, so that the fingers are parallel to the baby's lips, uh, like offering a hamburger. Uh, if you're going to use a C hold when the baby is, for example, in the cross cradle position, um, that would be like trying to eat a sandwich vertically to halt to a horizontal mouth. Anyway, so for the classic C hold, support the breast with the thumb on top and the fingers underneath the breast. And this hold is helpful when the baby is perhaps in the underarm position. For the U hold, have the fingers flat on the rib cage under the breast with the index finger in the crease under the breast and maybe drop your elbow so that your breast is supported between your thumb and index finger and the thumb will be on the outer area of the breast and the fingers will be on the inner area so this hold is helpful when breastfeeding in the cradle or cross cradle position um, but you can see that the C and the U hold depend on how the mother supports her breast in relation to the baby's mouth. The bottom line is the uh, mother's fingers need to be parallel to the baby's lips. So often we see mothers offering the baby um, her breast using what we call a scissor hold with the nipple held between the forefinger and the middle finger. Now for a mother with small hands and or short fingers, holding the breast in the scissor hold is going to risk making it more difficult for the baby to take enough breast tissue into the mouth and that's going to compromise the landing pad and it could also block the flow of milk. So be careful if you have small hands using this hold. Some mothers and babies also find an easier latch when the mother shapes the breast to offer the area below the nipple as the first contact point. To do this, she can use her thumb or any other finger to press gently on or slightly uh, on top of her breast. Um, people, some people call this the sandwich hold. Um, and this can improve the shape of the breast so that it is easier for the baby to touch deeply. However, this pressure on top of the breast should be very light. 
And then also holding or pinching the breast with the fingers and thumb very close to the areola or nipple um, might cause the fingers to be in the way so the baby cannot latch deep because um, baby can't latch over the fingers. But if the mother has a very soft, large breast with a, a nipple um, that is not protruding, maybe holding it like in a little teacup hold, like in the picture on the left, could help the baby to, to latch deeper. Okay, thank you so much for watching this recording. If you would like to watch the free breastfeeding class series, please visit the breastfeeding clinic at www.breastfeedingsa.co.za and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more breastfeeding class and tidbit recordings. And take care till next time.